Alright Jess, so the way this works is this particular reel pulls 90 pounds of drag on strike and 114 on pull. Okay. So, you know, if you're curling or lifting weights, you know you can only do that so long. Sure. So it's not up to our muscles to win the battle against this giant fish because a giant goliath can pull up to three times his body weight. So what we do is we treat it like a seesaw. So you take the butt of the rod and you slide it in underneath your right hamstring. So you're going to pull it in here okay. and you rest the reel on your hip. If you notice how the uh, tip of the rod is right above my head, yeah, okay. the lower I get like this, the more chances it has of pulling me overboard. And on this boat, since the uh, rod's a little bit higher and the gunnel's higher, as soon as it hits the gunnel, it's going to launch you up. So the way you prevent that from happening is it's a lot like if you're on a seesaw. So when that fish hits and pulls like this in, you, in order to get it back up, is just like when you were a kid, you put your hips in to raise it back up. Okay. So when that person drops you down, you put your hips in, you get them back up. And the only time you reel, once you get up to the top, you reel down. Right. Put your hips in, reel down. So this is what you have to do whenever okay. the big fish bites. So now, show me the example. So see, this is... I'm gonna put it in here and hold it yep. right here. Wait, act like you're fishing right here. Your hand needs to always stay on the handle because if it doesn't, the rod turns sideways. Okay. This here will cut across your arm. All right. Okay. Put your hips. Oh, there you go. Now, now see, see how you're lowering to yep. the ground. When you put your hips forward, this rod should go up. See how the rod a little bit better, but see you're using muscle right now. Yeah, yeah. How do you do this, to everybody? All right. This is how I teach everybody. See, you were trying to muscle. It's here. Okay. But when you put your foot, your hips forward, see how I raise you up? Yeah. Put a lot of pressure on. See how I raise yeah. you up there? That's what I want you to do. So you really just, all right. Yep. I'm putting my hips forward, almost like if I was getting in a position to push a car or to push something. Yeah. Put your hips forward. Yeah, that's better. Much better. But now, one more thing. I want you to rest that bar over that thigh. So I'm just put that leg a little bit further forward. Yeah. All right. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna listen to you, bro. Okay. Gotcha. I'm kind of tired just holding it. I'm already worn out just holding this thing. The thing weighs like 75 pounds. <laughs> That's got him on, guys. He's got a big Goliath on. Yeah. Dogs oh, involved, everyone's going. Nice, Jeff. Yeah. Very nice. The whole thing on both sideways. See that? Watch that. Uh, watch that rod. There you go. Come around the corner. Oh, 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 oh. Nice work. Yeah. Follow him over there, Ben. Yeah. Shark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got a shark on, not a Goliath. I wonder what kind of shark it is, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> You're really sport fishing now. How's it feeling, Jeff? Uh, a little sporty. A little sporty. <laughs> All right, coming up. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hold on. Don't go by. Nice, Jeff. Nice move, man. And the dog is jacked up, waiting to see what's up. So exciting. It's like she knows exactly where the fish is. She's not even she looking at him. Going on. Good job, Jeff. There we go, here she is, right there on the side of the boat. What is it? It's a spinner shark, I believe. Spinner shark. Good job, Jeff. Good job, guys. Good job, man. Good job.